And this is a basic eye examination. First of all, we look on the outside of the eye, just using our naked eyes. We have a very careful look to make sure that there's nothing too obvious. Next, we look at the conjunctiva, which is the lining of the eyelids, to look at their colour. We can also gently depress the globe, and that pushes what's known as the third eyelid across the surface of the eye, so we can have a good look at that. Once we've done that, we then look with an ophthalmoscope. An ophthalmoscope it called, uh, allows you to uh, look much more closely at the internal structures of the eye. It illuminates and magnifies at the same time. Firstly, we can assess the pupil's size looking at a distance. We can also assess the other side at the same time to see if there are any subtle differences between the two. By looking far away at the pupil, you can also see whether there are any shadows across the pupil itself, which might indicate, indicate that there are some um, things like cataracts. Then we gently move closer. When using the ophthalmoscope, it's essential that the pupil is dilated. That means that we use a dark room. This room is not entirely dark, otherwise you wouldn't be able to see it on the camera. But in an ideal world, we'd be in a pitch black room. First of all, you assess from a distance. This allows us to see whether the pupil is dilated or not, and you can simultaneously look at the other eye by looking from the front of the horse. This allows you to see whether there are subtle differences in pupil size. Looking from afar, you can also see if there are any shadows across the pupil. This would indicate that there is something possibly contained within the lens, like a cataract. Then we move closer to look at more deeply within the eye itself. We assess at the back of the eye, and then the ophthalmoscope can then focus at different depths to enable us to have a thorough examination of all of the structures within the eye. Mm -hmm.